Hello everyone, welcome to Real Programmers. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Flutter in Ubuntu operating system or any other Linux distribution. So, what is Flutter? Flutter is an open source framework by Google for building beautiful, natively compiled, multi-platform application from single code base. You can create an application with single code base and run everywhere. Android, iOS, Windows, Linux and browser. Today I am going to show the easiest way you can install Flutter without any errors. Before we begin, we need to know what it requires to install Flutter. We need Android SDK, Device, Flutter SDK and Dart. So let's head to the browser and search SnapD. The first one is Snapcraft.io. SnapD is a third party software package manager it has a large scale and popular software in here you can check the website and install snapd in your operating system it ha it it supports uh, different li linux distribution as you can see it has also have ubuntu let's head to the store and search android studio because it contains Android SDK and real virtual device. Not the real. Click on the Android Studio. Click on install. Copy this command. And open your terminal using Ctrl Alt T. Paste the command and run. It requires password. I have already installed Android Studio in my system. It will take some time to install. If you want to ref, uh, update your Android Studio, you can give refresh here instead of install and remove the classic. So it will update your Android Studio to the latest version. So let's go to the store again and install Flutter here. First one, it's an verified account and the publisher is Flutter team. So you don't have to worry about uh, versions and you can you can get the updates from here. Copy this command. Open the terminal again. Paste this command. I have already installed. Once you have installed both the things, you need to open Android Studio. Okay. New one. If you are opening for the first time, it will require it will ask you to accept the Android SDK and emulator. So once that done, you have you will see this screen. Uh, click on More Options and SDK Manager. You can see this is Android SDK. Click on SDK Tools and make sure you have accepted this Android SDK command line tools because Flutter needs this. Click on it, click on here, uh, apply and OK. I've already done that. Once that done, open virtual device manager. You can create your device in here. Select the device, click on next. Select your operating system. Once that done, give the name to the device. Click on finish. I have already have the Android device and it's up and running. I'll close this. So, uh, the next thing you need to do is check whether the Flutter has everything it needs. Flutter Doctor. It will check if it is missing few things. Mm, it will give the error for command line if you haven't accepted the command line. And it will also give the Android license, Flutter Android license. If you haven't accepted and there is this error for chrome because i don't have chrome in my ubuntu so to accept the license you need to run this command flutter doctor minus android minus license licenses minus tab by uh because minus y because it has so many license to accept so once you run this command you don't have to accept everything mm -hmm. once that done 
you, we need to create a, a Flutter application. So let's head to the, let's make a directory first. Flutter, don't give a space here. We need to create tuto, tutorial. Go inside this. And to create a Flutter project, you need to run Flutter create dot because we are in the right directory. Once you click it, it will get the Flutter. It will build the Flutter project, demo project. Once that done, you, you can also get your uh, IDE from here, from SnapD. There are so many ID, IDs. Not this one. Let's code. Visual Studio Code. There are Sublime, Node Plus Plus, everything in here. So I have Visual Studio Code. So I'll open in Visual Studio Code. And before I go inside Live Folder. You need to install two things from in Visual Studio Code. One is Flutter and Dart. Once it has, you can go to domain.dart and click on Start Debugging. It will take some time to run if you are running for the first time. So let's talk about Domain Razor. If you are looking for website hosting, you should go to Domain Razor because it provides so many features with cheapest price. As you can see, you can get your domain name with the starting price of 70 rupees. If you want .in, you can get it for 400, .com is 650 and .org for 990. Now, let's head to the website hosting. will really like it because there are four major features in here as you can see light speed because it has ssd you can also get free ssl certificate and cpanel to manage your website seo to optimize your search and cloud unify for the cloud and this for uh, your security website security the fun fact is, uh, the starting price for web hosting is 60 rupees per month. As you can see, for 60 rupees, it gives free one, one hosting website, 1 GB of SSD, 10 email address, and 5 GB of bandwidth. If you imp increase your uh, increase the plan with 40 rupees extra per month, you'll get same thing single website, unlimited SSD, unlimited email address and bandwidth. And it also gives premium SEO tool to optimize your search. If you go to the silver pack, which is business choice, if you're looking for business, this is the thing you need to look for 170 per month, three websites, unlimited SSD, unlimited email address, and unlimited bandwidth. Same thing with advance for 250 rupees, you will get two domains free, and you can host unlimited website in here. All the packages, all the features from Silver Pack, unlimited bandwidth, as you can see, and premium SEO tools to improve your search. Now, Let's head to the Flutter back. As you can see, my program is up and running. Here you can see the program. First application. And if I click here, it will start running. If I change anything in here, my first Flutter app. App. Once you save, it will give the change as fast. It will uh, keep the state remain that's all from my side it's working perfectly 
please do like this video subscribe to real programmers and i'll see you in the next video bye